Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Healthy Hair Diary. I'm Dion, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I air dry my relaxed hair. I am one week post relaxer, so air drying is really easy for me to do. Um, I like to air dry my hair right up until I get to nine weeks post relaxer, and then what I need to do is to blow dry so that I can straighten out the new growth, um, which allows me to stretch for a bit longer. Okay, let's get to it. So basically, I have shampooed my hair with a sulfate shampoo which I like to do the week after relaxer. I did a protein treatment, medium protein treatment with the ORS hair mayonnaise and I sat under the hood dryer for about 30 minutes and then what I did was to go on to do a moisturising conditioner using the Aunt Jackie's In Control Moisturising Deep Conditioner. Um, again sat under the hood dryer for about 15-20 minutes and then left that on my hair while I did a couple of bits around the house, went in the bath, got dressed, etc. And then I've t-shirt dried for about 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is I t-shirt dry, apply my leave-ins, detangle, and then what I like to do is I tie a satin scarf around my edges to kind of lay my hair, help to lay my hair flat whilst it's air drying. And yeah basically I'm going to show you what I do now. So first things first is I've taken off the towel, my hair is probably mm, probably about 60% dry. So what I do is to use my absolute favourite which is the Cream of Nature Argonal um, Strength and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. Give it a shake. And then what I do is to apply this liberally all over my hair. Okay, and then I'll just work that into my hair. Okay, so what I like to do then, before I go on to apply my cream leave-in and a serum, what I like to do is to detangle my hair in sections. we just start in the front. Um, because I'm one week's post-relaxer, I don't have any new growth, so my hair is pretty easy to detangle without, without actually putting into sections. I'm just doing it. My hair's pretty much sectioned anyway. It always stays in four sections. It's very easy. There you go. That's the second section there. So I'm just starting with this first section, but not actually like sectioning off my hair. My voice sounds funny. I am recovering from a really bad head cold. Um, so it's kind of altered my voice a bit. Okay, so that's the first section done. Okay, so that is my hair detangled using a wide tooth comb. What I want to do now is to go through my hair using four sections, apply my leave-in conditioner, and then what I like to do is to seal it with a serum. And then what I'll go through to do is detangle my hair with a smaller tooth comb before going on to air dry. So what I have been using recently is to moisturize my hair is the Root to Tip Triple M Miracle Moisture Milk. Um, which looks like this. It is paraben free, sulfate free, it is basically 99% natural um, and I've been using it as a moisturiser. While I am air dry, I also like to use it as a leave-in as well because it gives my hair a nice boost of moisture and my hair doesn't look so dry once my hair is finished air drying. Um, I have got other favourite leave-ins that I use but at the minute the weather is cold and it's all about injecting moisture into my hair so this is the leave-in that I'm using and then to seal in the moisture what I'm using is another favourite of mine which is the Inetto Pure Coconut Hair Serum Hair Smoothing Serum um, again this is paraben free and sulfate free and it's just really nice and light on my hair, but kind of gives my hair that extra slip and the sleekiness that I need um, when air drying. Okay, so first section. Didn't 
bring any clips downstairs with me. Just going to apply five drops. One more for that. And apply that to this section of hair. Start off with the ends and then work my way up. When my hair air dries, it can dry quite, once it's dry, it can look quite frizzy and unruly. So add in this moisture step rather than a normal leave-in conditioner, which I would normally use, kind of helps me. Okay, and then I'm just adding one drop of serum to that section of hair. I distribute it through all of the strands. And then it's still a wife tooth comb to me, but I detangle with a smaller tooth comb. So I started off with my wide tooth comb and then I'm just going through with the smaller tooth comb. Okay, so that section has got leave-in conditioner, um, moisturiser and serum and then I'm just going to twist this section up and continue to do the other three sections. Okay, so all four sections have been had leave-in and serum applied. I've detangled my hair and this is the hair that I have had come out. Okay, so sections are all moisturised, they've got serum in, so I'm just going to go through again and comb through my hair. Okay, so that's my hair all detangled, ready to air dry. It is a habit of mine to always tie down the edges. I mean, I've got no new growth on one week post relaxer, um, but it's just my thing. So I will literally tie my scarf, wrap my scarf into three quarters. So it's just laying down the front. And if I was organized, I would have a hair clip to tie down my hair which I don't so I literally just push my hair to the back of my head and tie down the front so push that back so that it's kind of just like laying my edges and I'll just let the rest of the hair hang and do its thing okay so now my hair is kind of just out doing its thing what I do every every 10 minutes or so is just to get the comb and to comb through the hair in one direction to make sure it dries that way so yeah that's basically what my hair looks like. Now it is about 70% um, dry. So what I will do is to go off camera, do a couple of bits and bobs, and then I'll come back and show you what my hair looks like in about half an hour to 45 minutes. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and it's been about 40 minutes. 
and my ends are pretty much dry, just a little bit damp. It is just my roots in here that's all wet. I removed the scarf so that the front of my hair can dry. If I leave the scarf on, it kind of takes a little bit longer for the front of my hair to dry. So I only leave it on there for about 15, 20 minutes and then I remove the scarf. But yeah, my hair is drying nicely. My hair doesn't take too long to dry. And what I do is to just keep running my fingers through my hair so that my hair doesn't puff up. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like. Air dried, it's nice and straight. It's got a nice, it's got nice body to it. I find it really nice and easy to air dry my hair after wash day. Um, only up until I get to nine weeks post relaxer and then it is time to blow dry because the new growth just needs to be straightened out and stretched. Yeah, it's just too much to handle. I hope you found this video useful, please leave a comment below and I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching, bye.